the day I am going to give a training on Microsoft Excel 101. So, an introduction to Excel 2007. Uh, I'm just going to give an overview in this presentation. I'm going to talk about the disadvantages and advantages some useful tips and tricks that I use when I'm using the software, and also some resources that you can use. Some advantages um, of Excel, obviously, are the number crunching abilities. I use it mostly for formulas, large spreadsheets of data. Um, I don't like to do the math by myself, so I have Excel assist me in that. It's also really good at creating charts, graphs, and tables. Um, organizing lists and importing data. So if you have um, data in a, a database that's external to Excel, you can often export it to Excel and then manipulate it that way. Some disadvantages that I see to this version of Excel um, is the ribbon. Uh, I was not a fan of the ribbon when I first saw it. It's unique to the 2007 version. Um, I liken it to somebody going into my closet and rearranging all my shirts and then I can't find them. Of course, the shirts are still there, um, but now I have to go through 10 different colored shirts before I can find my blue shirt. So um, you will have to navigate through the ribbon options um, a little bit more than you uh, would if you were just going through the earlier versions of Excel that had menus and you just drop down to whatever option that you're looking for. Um, the other disadvantage that I see is that some of the um, basic functions, um, like saving, opening a new document, um, that sort of thing, are hidden be behind an icon and it is the office button. So if you are absolutely new to Excel 2007, um, that's a good tip to know because you won't see how to save your document otherwise. Um, this is what the ribbon looks like. Uh, so if you first open Excel, you will see um, this across the top of the screen. Um, there are different tabs. Um, so there's one for home, one for insert, page layout, formulas, data, review, and view. Um, so every single one of these tabs has different options, as you would, um, for different features of Excel. So that's what I like into the closet theme. Um, reorganized. So things that you would expect to see maybe under home, uh, you might have to, if you don't see them immediately, go through some of the other tabs. Um, so now we have the fun part, Excel uh, spreadsheets. I'm going to teach you how to create a new worksheet. Um, I'll tell you how to find a cell address also just the first cell address um, in the spreadsheet, which is A1, and um, I'm going to point out the multiple tabs in the spreadsheet. So when you first open Excel, this is what it looks like. Um, if you can see that, A1 is that first cell in the top left corner. So you'll see all of the columns listed this way and then all of the rows. So A1, um, you will see um, the cell address right above it, so if you're not sure which cell you're in, you can always check that top left box and it will tell you. Um, also, as we saw before, this is the ribbon, um, and then it will give you just a blank spreadsheet with almost, um, it, it's not infinite, but it's a whole lot of rows in there, so um, it, it'll be tough to run out of space in one of these spreadsheets. Also, at the bottom of your spreadsheet, you'll see different tabs where it says Sheet 1, Sheet 2, and 3. You can add more uh, tabs if you want. You can um, move or copy. So it's good to know that you have additional options. So when I'm first creating a spreadsheet, I make a heading or a title for the spreadsheet. I usually like to bold it. And then I also decide um, how many rows and columns of data I want. So usually in that heading, um, I will allow space for how many columns and then rows and make sure that it's not too small uh, when it prints because sometimes you can create a lovely spreadsheet and then when you go to print it, it's just way too much data. So um, when you're first doing a spreadsheet, um, 
There are certain things that you can navigate through. I like to use commands um, just because it's quicker. Um, so control C is copy, control V is paste, control X is cut, um, bold is control B, italic is control I, and this is the best one, control S for save. So I just keep doing control S. I know that uh, Excel saves your work every 10 minutes. I don't like to trust that. I want to make sure whatever I'm working on, it's saving as I go. So I just hit control S. Um, so when you are starting with a spreadsheet, here's an example of just um, uh, a spreadsheet from this book by Walken, Walkenbach. Um, so he's got the months over here, and then he's got in the heading um, the projected sales. So what's really cool about this is that if you don't want to type in all of the months, um, abbreviate it yourself, if you see this little plus sign at the bottom corner, you can just type in the first two and then drag it down. And it uh, will populate all the rest of the months for you. So here are the steps um, to do that. You will drag. So make sure that you do the first top cells. And then you highlight them and then drag down. So you'll have to drag from the corner. So if you're in the wrong um, spot to drag, then it won't populate um, uh, the series for you. But that is a handy trick uh, if you have a long series. Um, it also does this with numbers, which I'll go into right here. So I didn't want to type in um, all kinds of numbers, so I just created a series. Um, and I did that by populating the first two cells, 10 and 20. So I wanted multiples of 10 to go down. So I used um, this feature and dragged down. And then I'm also showing you here, at the bottom I want to have a total. So to do that, you'll go to your ribbon and then you'll go to the auto sum, which looks like that backwards E, and that will give you a total. So here are the steps for that. Um, you want to make sure that you highlight all the numbers that you want to be totaled up. Now, the cool thing that I just learned recently is that at the bottom, you will see um, average count and sum. So just in case you want to verify um, what you're totaling up um, when you hit that little backwards E sum icon, um, you can check the sum also at the bottom of the spreadsheet. So this is look, what it looks like when you're done. So you've got the total line, I bolded it, control B, um, and that's what it looks like. So if you want to add borders, this is um, especially helpful when you're printing because sometimes um, the font is tiny and you just want to see clearly the border lines of your table. Um, you will go to uh, the borders icon and then you'll go to all borders. So that will highlight every single um, cell address. So that will give you a clear border of your data right there. And then also, uh, once you do that, sometimes your titles will be off, so you'll have to resize a little bit to get the title. So here I did that. I added all borders, and then I just resized the projected sales um, set. So to create a chart out of this data, it's very easy, but you will have to go to a different tab in the ribbon. So you'll go to um, the tab called Insert, and then you'll go to Charts, and then it gives you a little icon of column charts. So you'll pick the type of chart that you want, and um, it'll plop it right in the middle of the spreadsheet, and then you can edit it as you want. So I went ahead and did that, and here's what it looks like. So you have the numbers increasing, um, and it gives you a nicely formatted chart. So to print this chart, you'll go to your office button, so that's at the top left uh, where it has all those options hidden. Uh, you'll go to the print preview. Um, I like to make sure uh, I'm not printing more or less than what I intend, so I, I like to go to the print preview. Um, and if you like it, then you just go to print. And so this is what it looked like after I did that. And so there's this print at the top left. And the 
then you want to save your work because you don't want to redo your table. So go ahead and go to save. Uh, you can also go to save as if you want to save in different versions. There's um, different versions of Excel, so you can save to um, an earlier version if you know you may be presenting um, this data on you know, a computer that has an earlier version of Excel. So some resources that I use for this presentation, um, this book uh, by our Excel expert here um, is very good. It's uh, very comprehensive. So um, if you're not looking into knowing every single feature um, about Excel, uh, there are free resources that you can go to. So Khan Academy um, is a nice website that has tutorials on YouTube that are completely free. That it's not just Excel, it's all kinds of subjects. You can learn algebra, you can learn um, all kinds of things uh, by going there. It, um, and you can watch YouTube videos um, on various topics. You can also take a class. I took an Excel class, uh, which is very helpful um, if you have trouble with the discipline of creating your own spreadsheet um, and learning the things on your own. And also asking your friend. I, I also um, learn a lot just by other people, coworkers, friends who know a lot about Excel. Uh, so in conclusion, um, Excel has many benefits. I particularly like the number cr crunching abilities. Um, it's great for making charts. Um, the ribbon, I find, is a little hard to navigate, um, but there are definitely shortcut commands that you can use um, if you're not used to that. Um, charts and tables are really easy to make and there are lots of helpful resources out there for you. So any questions? <laughs>